Hi, this is Andy from the Great Athlete Nexus. Thank you for joining me for this presentation. And this is just going to this video is just going to give you a greater understanding of the be activated treatment and how it can improve an athlete's performance. So why should you be listening to me today? Well, if you've been around my website, you've probably been interested in the, how quickly uh, be activated can help uh, relieve tight muscles. And so what I'm going to show to you is why you have that tight muscle and how be activated can, uh, can relieve it. And this second bit to say is there's good news and bad news because tight muscle is indicative of a much deeper problem that's actually holding back your sports performance and preventing you from getting the best out of your, your ability. But the, the good news is that it's easy to correct this problem. And it's it's quicker than you think. And if you correct this problem, then you not only do relieve the tight muscle, but you, your performance levels will soar. And if you fix this problem, then you fix all of this. And you'll I'm sure you'll agree that that's a long list. But there's simple techniques that you can put in place that sets off a chain reaction that will improve all of this. And if you improve all of this, then it's obvious that your career will be boosted as well. Firstly, a little bit about me. I'm a former 400 meter runner and I used to do 400 meter hurdles as well. And like a lot of athletes, like yourself probably, I was committed to improving myself. I desired improvement and I trained hard for it. I trained regularly and I trained with a great group with me to push me. And if you're a sprinter and a 400 meter runner, you'll know those lactic 300s you do in training where you just finish and for the next 10, 15 minutes, you're on the ground and standing up, sitting down is painful because the lactic is running through your hamstrings and glutes. And I felt that on occasions on some sessions. I pushed myself, but I regularly got injured, mostly with minor hamstring strains and mostly just before the season started. And you could point, I, let's there's no bones about it i was doing something wrong in my recovery for it to happen i was doing something wrong but where because guys the best athletes in the world who are the best athletes you've got all the information in front of them, they've got the money to go to the best people are still getting injured and getting injured regularly and seriously as well that's keeping them out for months so if they're doing something wrong then we then what's the hope for the rest of us are we looking in the wrong place and in this presentation i'm going to direct you to a place you haven't considered or highly prioritized that we need to concentrate on and put more focus on and when we put more focus on we can we can decrease injury rates massively and i've been a qualified personal trainer and strength coach since 2007 and i very much approached my personal training like i did as an athlete i was committed to improving myself and getting gaining knowledge from the right sources so i can uh, transfer it to my clients and also so I could improve my own knowledge for my own athletics. I'm a qualified athletics coach. I've coached in Ireland and the UK, coached in schools, clubs and universities. And although I can help any athlete in any sport at whatever level, track and field is my passion. It's the sport that I've been brought up with and I've done since I was a small boy. Um, it's the sport that my dad used to do. And he used to be a 400 meter hurdler himself and he now coaches. And I love track and field, but I don't like where it is at the moment in the standard of training we give athletes, the standard of coaching, the, the, the way it's governed. And there's changes that and changes that have to be put in place for it to keep on improving. And I'm dedicated to furthering the sport at a time when it most needs it. And that's why I've evolved into my present capacity as a Beactivated practitioner, because I want to help athletes in areas where they don't know where they're holding themselves back. And this is the area where I can make the most difference to your performance. And if you improve this, those parts, those areas that you neglect, that you don't know about, that can enhance your performance, then your, your athletics performance soars. And one thing I want to get across in this presentation is your fitness is only one part of your sport performance. Now, what does that mean? Well, in sport, there's an over-reliance, sometimes a complete reliance on the physical fitness you do, the training you do, how fit you are. How fit you are seems to dictate how good you'll do in your competitions. When what I'm trying to say is fitness means a whole lot more than that. And if you look at the work that myself and other Beactivated practitioners are doing, you look at the work that AMN Academy are doing and the work that people at Posture Pro are doing, we're redefining the word fitness and what it actually means. Fitness means a lot more than the strength of your muscle. It means a lot more than cardiovascular fitness. It means a lot more than the fitness work you do in training. And hopefully what I'm trying to, to point you towards is put yourself in the right state to perform first 
and then do the training. Do the training, as much training as you like, but start from the right place. And more on this later. Now, my thirst for knowledge as a personal trainer took me to the Be Activated method, which I, I was first taught in 2015. I've been following the, the method for uh, since 2008, but in two, 2015, I finally went ahead and learned how to do the, the whole method. And I've got to level two. And it, what we activated is a powerful muscle activation method that fires up muscles to their full capacity to perform. So it's rooted in applied kinesiology and neuro lymphatics. And basically, if you, you it's rooted in applying a muscle test and then applying pressure or t uh, tr trigger points uh, on the body and then retesting and seeing the difference it makes. And the difference you can make in a couple of seconds is remarkable. It's a safe method for all in terms of it can be re replicated and talked to teams so they can actually apply it to each other or to, to each other as athletes. And it's developed by physio Douglas Healy, who's a South African physio. Um, he's worked with the South African rugby team. He's worked with the, he's applied the reactivated method to LA Galaxy and Team Sky. So various well-known clients. And right now he's teaching it to other physios and trainers around the world. And thousands of practitioners use the reactivated in the health and fitness industry, but also in the medical profession as well. Now, what will probably interest you is the fact how quickly reactivated works. And essentially, it comes down to the, the, the idea that if you do the right thing, the body will respond immediately. So flexibility can increase almost immediately in seconds. And what you see are the two pictures up there taken from a DVD I, was, I watched back in 2008. And for a strength coach and athlete who this blew my mind. And this is Doug Heal just increasing flexibility in someone in literally seconds. The difference between the first picture and the second picture is literally five to 10 seconds of work. And what he did was optimize a muscle called the psoas to release the hamstrings. So essentially got another muscle to work better to allow the hamstrings to do their job. And what was the result was an increase in flexibility, which is demonstrated in the pictures. Now, when I saw this back in 2008, so I, this, this was unbelievable, this was, I was going, how can this happen? I mean, I thought stretching was the only way to increase flexibility like this. And because and even that would take weeks. But this guy's just done it in a couple of seconds. And so this picked my interest. And for someone who's was had a thirst for knowledge back then, this allowed me and this kind of encouraged me to go and follow Doug's work a little bit more. And it took me a while. But then that's why I went and did the courses in 2015. Now, I want to talk about stretching for a minute because there's still a belief in the health and fitness industry and in sport that stretching is the only way to increase flexibility, which is not entirely true. Um, and also that the stretching doesn't really address the area that's causing the muscle to be tight. The muscle is tight because it's defending itself and it's overloaded with work. And it's overloaded with work because muscles normally in the hip area and further up the body are switched off and they're not doing their job. And when that happens, other muscles have to take over the job and do twice the work. And when that happens, they start to tighten. So what Be Activated does is switch on the muscles that are dormant, so, and thereby relieving the pressure on the tight muscle. And once you relieve the pressure on the tight muscle, it increases in flexibility and goes back to its original capacity to perform. Now we come to the focus of the presentation and what forms the general philosophy of Be Activated. And earlier you would have heard me talk about the deeper problem. And if you correct it, you can boost nearly all areas of your sports performance. And I also talked about the over-reliance on the physical training we do on the track, in the gym, on, on the pitch, to the detriment of everything else. And it's especially to the detriment of this stress. Now, with the general consensus is that link is, stress is linked to the general population and probably a much older demographic. But and there's also the, probably a, a, a consensus that athletes are far too fit, young and healthy for stress to be make any impact on them. But we all live in the same world and we're exposed to the same pressures. And, and a lot of the problems we experience in sport we can link back to how we live our lives in between our training sessions and essentially outside our sport and we do not give this stress enough priority now although financial and family stress has been around for donkey's years for thousands of years the fact that we're living in an ever-changing world 
magnifies the pressures on these areas. And the world we live in, it's evolving, it's speeding up. Technology is changing the world for some, in some ways better, but also the pressures we have are magnified. And the, so, the, the social media time spent on the computer generally and the internet and the general pressure for us to respond to life in a quicker way we're exposed to everybody's opinions on social media and the opportunity to get frustrated and angry at everyone's opinions. We cannot handle all this. We haven't been taught how to handle all this. The education system has not evolved with the technology, has not speeded up. It's still archaic. The education system t still teaches us how to get a job, not how to deal with life. And if you add our general training philosophy on top of all that, the train hard, push yourself, put the hours in, you can't miss a single training session. Then you've got a big pile of pressure on top of an athlete that we currently cannot handle. And that pressure might come from the coaches, possibly, and there might be some added pressure from the sponsors. And above all, there's likely to be pressure from the athlete, from him or herself, the need to achieve, the need to train, the need to do. Yet we don't have the current levels of knowledge to handle the stress in society so we can benefit from all the training we do. So we can actually do all the training in safety. And the result of all this pressure normally ends in injury. And I'm just going to show you how stress impacts the body instantly and how it makes you weaker in a minute. But one thing we've got to understand is that Tight muscles and injuries normally happen at a deeper level on how we live our life, not necessarily how we train or how often we train. Be Activated shows that we must build the right base for us to do our training, to put ourselves in a stress-free state to do our training. Now, here's a little test I promised that shows you how quickly the body can be compromised by stress and how it can make it weaker. So what you need is a partner. For this and what I'd like you to do firstly is to think of an unhappy memory something that stresses you out or it's like must be might be something that you hate doing or an experience you had that stresses you out and what you do is you hold out your arm straight and while you're thinking of that stressful thought get your partner to press down on your arm and record the results and after that what I'd like you to do is think of a happy memory something that inspires you so it could be a family member could be anything like a, an experience you had with friends, anything that makes you laugh. And then hold out your hand again and get your partner to press down it, down on the hand again. So what did you find? Well, I'll bet if you thought of the negative thought and your partner pressed it down, that you could press down the arm with ease while you were thinking of the negative thought. But when you were thinking of something that inspired you, the positive thought, the happy thought, that your partner tried to press down on your arm, but couldn't, or it was much, much stronger. Now this shows how quickly you can change the body performance levels we're in an instant it also shows where we need to focus our attention if we truly want to make the best out of our ability in whatever sport we do and the test should show you that relaxation is where we need to focus our attentions on because the parasympathetic state is where muscles react and when i get the body in my be activated treatments so in each um, session i do I work on the, the athletes breathing and getting them into a relaxed state and whether when they couldn't hold muscle tests before when they're in a relaxed state they can hold that muscle test and they can hold the muscles because the re muscles react it goes much deeper than the, the strength of a muscle it goes to wh whether the muscle is getting clear messaging from the brain it goes right deeper into the nerve level and we need to understand that parasympathetic state the relaxed state is where we need to focus on where we need to spend more time and we as athletes and coaches for that matter are not in that state nearly ever and from that state that's where confidence that's where physical strength comes that's where the excitement to perform to compete comes from and be activated is pretty much one of the few methods that actually does this and here's something else to consider my pbs were always the easiest races of my life they were the races that take took less effort they're the races when I felt good before the race, confident, relaxed, light and loose during the race. And the toughest races I ever ran, the ones that were physically draining and I felt absolutely shattered at the end, were often the slowest ones. And we're too busy, like, training ourselves, killing ourselves in training, when we forget the fact that often, more often than not, our best performances are the times when we found it easy. 
we found it loose. And that's because we were in the right state to perform. And in sport, for some reason, we seem to sit sweep the significance of that under the carpet, or we do not focus on, which I am looking to change. This is one of the main things I want to change by applying the Be Activated method to athletes. I come back to this slide again. Your fitness, your physical training you do is only one part of your sport performance. Start from the right, with the right base. Start by putting yourself in the right state, relaxed state, happy state, positive state to do your best work. It's always about how good you feel. And be activated sets the base of feeling good. Gets your breathing right, activates the diaphragm, gets the psoas function, gets all the muscles functioning so the body's in the right aligned state to be in a stress-free state. And we're too busy doing, normally in sport, we're too busy training. We're too busy training hard when we forget that we're not setting the right base. The principle is still the same. A negative mind weakens you instantly. A positive, happy mind strengthens you instantly. Nowadays, we cannot just train, eat and sleep to perform at our best anymore. It should be like that. We should be able to do that, but we can't. We don't have the education to deal with the stress, the ever evolving world, the influx and pressure that we feel and perform optimally. We don't have the tools. And this is where Be Activated fills in that missing link. Your body has to be in the right state to benefit from your training, to benefit from the stretching to benefit from your running, to benefit from learning a new skill. It's very much like if you need to sort a problem out and you have a problem and you don't know how, a stressed mind won't help you sort out that problem. You need to relax, put yourself in the right state. And that is going to raise your chances of sorting out the problem. It's going to give you options for you to take that's going to sort out the problem. Well, the body works in the same way when you go into a relaxed state. It performs for you. It gives you the answer. It, it, it actually helps you to perform it in the way you're supposed to. So be activated, puts your body in the right state to train and benefit from your training. And ultimately makes your athletics performance soar. So what does this be activated actually involve? What do the sessions um day-to-day -day sessions that involve well it, it normally involves getting together about once a week and getting on a massage table and identifying where muscles are working where they're not so i do certain muscle tests to test out where what's what's happening with your body at this, this current stage and then i go through the system and basically it involves a pre-test where i do muscle tests on each muscle and then apply pressure to specific trigger points on the body and then for about 30 seconds and then do a post muscle test and after that you see the difference in terms of how quickly the muscle reacts and basically also setting the right lax base for your perform perform at your best so i'd concentrate on getting your breathing right which is of utmost importance all the other activations won't work unless your breathing is right no performance will work your body won't function properly if your breathing's not right so we spend a lot of time correcting the breathing and making sure you've got the great correct breathing technique and then involves activations on top of that, the psoas, psoas, glutes, hamstrings, adductors, abductors, core, and more. And I normally get these results in seconds. Well, in between 20 and 30 seconds. And between that, it involves you doing your homework and doing your work outside the session. So you change the habits. I can, ch I can bring about change in the body, but it's habits that take longer to change. And this is where it's gonna take a little bit of work from you in terms of applying the self activations that I give you and also the workbooks, the PDFs, where I correct certain areas that would be bringing stress to your bringing stress to your performance levels and actually bring back that stress level. So it does involve a little bit of work from yourself behind the scenes. Now, you're probably wondering at the stages be activated for you or more specifically, do I really need it? And here's another a checklist that might help you decide. Do you have a lack of flexibility in areas of your body where stretching hasn't worked, where stretching has given you, you know, substandard results with and not lasting results? If so, the chances are there's other muscles up and down the body that have switched off. If you put your body in the right state, then that would leave the, the, the pressure on the tight muscle and therefore it'll improve flexibility. 
Are you regularly injured? Now it's important at this stage that I don't diagnose an injury. Um, if you have an injury, you have to go to a physio and you have to go to a physical therapist to get the scar tissue massaged out. At that stage, after you've been to those people, then I can help you. I can put the body in a state to recover and prevent. So I can speed up recovery by activating muscles, taking the pressure off the muscle that is injured. And obviously from then on, prevent injury from going on. If the body's in the right state, there's less muscle overuse and there'll be less injury. The third thing is, do you feel stress is preventing you from achieving your goals in sport? And a more specific question, do you feel good? And this would, I'd say, apply to anybody. And that's where Be Activated would help anybody, any athlete out. Because stress is such an impact on everybody's life in society. And as I say, as I said before, athletes live in the same world as everybody else. And lastly, do you simply want to be better, stronger, more flexible? The best athletes look to different areas outside of the norm to get better. And this is an area, if you're looking for improvement, if you're looking to get the best out of your ability, then Be Activated will be for you because every athlete will benefit from Be Activated. And if the answer is yes to any of those previous questions, then I'd love to hear you from you. Email me at andy at thegreatathletenexus.com or go to my contact page on my website, www.thegreatathletenexus.com to get the ball rolling. Ask me any questions and then I, I'd be happy to reply to you and see where I can help you. The next stage is for you to give me your phone number and time to call and we can have a chat on the phone to see goes deeper into how I can help you and areas that you can try on your own to improve your performance. And then if you so true, we can meet one to one and do a one hour screening session. And from this point, we go deeper into the Be Activated treatments, go deeper into where you're, you're hampering your performance, where you may be causing injury in some areas and how I can help you, how Be Activated can help you. And then I give you one activation, apply one activation to you that improves flexibility, improves hip, movement and it puts you in a better state for you to perform for your next training session and during that one hour screening session i discuss the monthly and three monthly program because one the activated session won't work for longer term results you can get change immediately in the body but to, to change habits takes time and that's why i have these packages available also it's i'm this program suits people, suits athletes who are ready to immerse themselves in the Be Activated philosophy, who are ready to change their stress levels, who are ready to look outside the current level of thinking to improve. This is the ultimate investment in yourself. The ultimate investment in yourself. And this just leads me to thank you for listening and watching and I look forward to hearing from you soon.